Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and today we're unboxing the highly anticipated HTC Touch Pro 2. This device will see a release on most major carriers across the world, and will undoubtedly get a lot of attention from the smartphone community it already has. There's a ton of excitement around this device, so we're really, really excited to finally get the chance to unbox it here. So without further ado, let's get to it. The unboxing experience will probably be about the same that it was for the Touch Diamond 2, and we're going to do some comparison shots in, the, in a minute. They, they did away with the diamond-like boxing that they had for the previous generation Touch Pro, so let's see what it's like for the Touch Pro 2. Yep, the same kind of box here. So HTC has brought back the popular tilting screen that was made popular by the Titan 2 and the AT&T Tilt. Um, they've also added a much larger screen, super high resolution, WVGA. Um, this is the European version, so it won't work in the US unless you don't mind not getting 3G data. So you could put in an AT&T SIM card or a T-Mobile SIM card and get edge data if that's good enough for you. So let's get inside the box. Okay, we'll take a look at the device in a second. All right, let's see what we have in the box. We have some, looks like stereo, stereo headphones, usual stuff. We've got the USB charger, okay. Of course, the wall plug with non-US plug. Um, an extra stylus, good. And wow, look, it's actually silver. Very nice, very nice touch. Um, and the battery, which is of size, 1,500 milliamp hours, pretty good size. And wow, is this actually a case? Great, HTC included a case, just as they should for a professional device like this. Let's uh, let's do the smell test and see if it's real leather. Yes, it is real leather, very high quality smooth leather too. This is a really nice case. Um, too bad it's not a holster. Just like the HTC Touch Pro came with a sleeve, this is kind of sort of like a sleeve in itself. It's not made to go in your belt or anything like that. And then we got some literature inside of the box. Let's see what we have here. Software, HTC Touch Pro 2. Wow, so exciting that we're finally getting a chance to unbox this. I'm um, getting started, other stuff and other stuff. HTC included a screen protector, very nice, with a cutout for the front-facing video camera. And warranty, accessories, blah, blah, blah. Let's get to the device. All right, so here we are. Wow. It's a big device, but it feels thinner, much, much thinner than the HTC Touch Pro and ab absolutely the Titan 2. Very big screen. Nice flush touch screen. Ah, nice spring action. Wow, look at this keyboard with the offset layout. Keyboard feels... The buttons don't press in that much, uh, surprisingly, but uh, it will take some getting used to. Let's see how much the screen tilts. It's actually pretty stiff. Oh, there it goes. Wow, amazing. The tilting screen is great because you can watch a movie on your tabletop. If you're doing GPS navigation, you can rest it on the dashboard in your car. Um, it provides a better viewing angle so that when you are typing, um, you can tilt the screen a little bit if the sun's in your way. But wow, a very, very slick device. It feels so good in hand. And of course, it has two microphones and two speakers for that new speakerphone technology. Um, that we really appreciated by business professionals. Very slick device, uh, extremely high quality feeling in hand. I mean, this is the this is the cream of the crop in terms of build quality. Um, the what's kind of weird and what I'm noticing is that the screen kind of sticks in this position, and you give it a little bit more force, and then it starts to rock. It's kind of kind of interesting. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look at how this compares to other devices. We should definitely compare it to the original tilting screen device. The um, Titan 2, and of course that had a tilting screen that tilted actually a bit more than the new Touch Pro 2. I'll show you that now. So the Touch Pro 2 doesn't tilt as much. Let's take a look at how they compare in terms of size. 
the, uh, the, the Titan 2 has gotten a lot of use, so excuse the dirtiness of the screen. Uh, the Touch Pro 2 is much larger, but it also looks a lot nicer. It's got chrome all around the edges, a much larger screen. Of course, the, the screen resolution is much higher on the Touch Pro 2. In terms of thickness, much thinner, and it's got a nice silver coating to it, uh, which is good because this is not going to be a fingerprint magnet. Surprised to hear uh, that be said. Of course, the screen will be, but what do you expect? Um, so let's take a look at, at the Touch Pro 2 next to its predecessor, the Touch Pro. And same deal here. It's a much larger device with a much larger screen. A different uh, configuration of hardware keys here. We don't have a D-pad on the Touch Pro 2, but we do on the, um, the original Touch Pro. Much thinner, and like I said, it really feels thin in hand compared to um, a device like this. And let's take a quick comparison of the keyboards. A much more spacious keyboard on the Touch Pro 2, and of course you have this offset layout, which will help a lot with ergonomics, I think. And let's take a look at how it compares to the Diamond 2. About the same size. The screen sizes are a little bit different. 3.2 inches here and 3.6 inches here. And of course it's going to be thicker than the Diamond 2 because of the inclusion of the keyboard. So we've got a lot more coming up on the HTC Touch Pro 2. We have more videos and, of course, the full review coming soon. Um, follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets to find exactly when they hit. And if you want a Touch Pro 2 of your own, they're shipping right now at clove.co.uk. They ship internationally. That's it for now. We'll be back with more very soon.